25 of them, yeah. Not, not, not some, not some. Not some, all, all prophets. All the prophets accept. All prophets accept Muhammad. All prophets were rejected. But you say some. By the way. For where? No, no, you are something now. You say some. Let, let, let me repeat. You must be careful. The guy says you are a son. The guy even decide between themselves. They're talking about the people. The guy even decide to proceed themselves. It's getting worse, bro. That's a move. So probably all that's Tell me right. about the Shia yeah. and the Sunni. This Shia is Sunni. That's, 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 that's a Umum. That's a senior Umum. That's a Catholic. 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 That's a why should I believe the Sunni? Are you Catholic? Why should I believe the Sunni? Are you Protestant? Why should I believe the Sunni? Why should you believe the Sunni? Why she? Why should I believe the Sunni? Are you Catholic? You got Shia and Sunni. Why should I believe the Sunni? Are you Catholic? Why should I believe the Shia? You, you can't even agree. In the Shia, they say the Quran has changed. So which Christian are you? And then the Sunni say the Quran has not changed. So which Christian are you? The Sunni say the Shia. What about the Old Testament? The New Testament. Yeah, well, let's get believe in us. Soon as six days, the Old Testament. He's just that minute. He's just that minute. He was given. 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 He was given by God. Yeah. Talk to him. He's Arab. Which Christian are you? Which Christian are you? Me. I'm. I'm. I'm a B O R N N B O R N. This A G I A N. Christian. What does that? What does that say? They are different things. Born again, Christian. Born again, bro. Meaning you need to be born again. Do you know what Jesus means? Do you know what Jesus means by being born again? Being born of the Holy Ghost. You see, Nicodemus. You said Sunni and Shia. Listen, we've got even more. No, you got Shia. You got Shia. And he's got so the three. I agree. I have many, many Muslim scholars, Shia scholars, many Muslim Shia scholars who say the Quran has changed. No, it's not Quran has changed. And then I have Sunni scholars trying to refute them. At least every Muslim scholar. Holy book, the Quran, the Sunni scholars, my friend, the, the Sunni scholars, the Sunni scholars say this. Listen, the Sunni scholars say this. The Shia scholars, they are copying our chain of narration. Who are we going to believe? Who's right? Listen, who is right? Why do you have are the have Shia right and then or are the Sunni right? Okay, the Quran is changed. Change. You need to be born again. I can guarantee you. Give me one verse, one evidence. I can give it to you now. No way. Every Muslim, Shia, Sunni, every Wahhabi, every person believe that the Quran has never changed. Go study the Shia Sunni debate. Everyone knows here. There's an Old Testament and a New Testament. Everyone knows. You learned it in primary school. I learned it in primary school. Name me one manuscript of the Quran. One manuscript, one surah. They're not no, no. Manuscript. One ancient Arabic manuscript. Name me one. The Quran never changed from the start. Never I can name one son of manuscript. It doesn't even know his own Arabic manuscripts. Does it even know? Right. It doesn't even know. My friend, you don't even know your own Arabic manuscripts. Okay. What about Old Testament, New Testament? Who are the Shia? Who are the Sunni? You don't even know about the Sunni-Shia debate. Even in the Shia, in the Shia debate, if you study the Shia, they say that the Quran. The Quran has changed. All the Shia, not all of them, sorry, most of them say the Quran's changed. All right. So when the Muslims come here and tell you Quran not changed, there's loads of Muslim scholars in the past that said it changed. So they need to be honest about it. Jesus Christ died for you. You need to be born again, folks. You need to have the love of Jesus in your life. Allow that love to come in. Allow the joy of the Lord to come in and fill you with His love and peace. That you can be forgiven in a minute, Callum. That you can be forgiven. That you can be restored. I debated these guys. They can't agree with themselves. I debated him. And he can't even agree with his Muslim brother. He can't even agree. So I win the debate. I win the debate, folks. Muhammad, I win the debate. You can't even agree between yourself. It's a mockery, you've got to, you can't even agree, it's a joke. We win the debate, you've got to sort yourselves out. Shia and Sunni. Nobody became Christian. Because the Shia saw the Quran is changed. Jesus Christ shed his blood.
Jesus Christ. I, I, I want to know. You are not the princess. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. I want the debate. You can't even agree amongst yourselves. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You need to go. You need to go and sort yourselves out. Sort yourselves out and come back when you're ready. We'll have round two. Come back later when you've sorted it out. We'll have round two, yeah? But you, you're all over the place. You're all over the place and you're confused at the moment. Jesus Christ shed his blood. That was a bloodbath, intellectual bloodbath. They're all over the place. God bless them. We love them. They're beautiful people. We love them. They're lovely people. But they're totally confused. They need to do some studying. Jesus Christ shed his blood for you and you need to be born again. Nicodemus knew his Old Testament, but he didn't know God. He was religious, but he didn't know God. And Jesus said to him, you must be born again, meaning born of the Holy Spirit. Meaning you need to have a relationship with God through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit opens your eyes to the Word. The Holy Spirit teaches you. The Holy Spirit fills you and gives you love, joy, peace. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. The Holy Spirit breaks the chains in your life. Allow Him in. Allow Christ in your life. Allow Him to shed. Uh, allow Him to come in your life and give you peace and give you that joy. He shed His blood. So trust Him. Look to Him. Do you believe in the Quran? My word got a change. When someone says the Bible is true, the Bible says it's not true. And in the Bible, it's not true. No, it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It's Okay, so if God gives a word and allows his word to change, but did God give a word? Right, okay. So if he gave a word, was that word corrupted? Are you sure? Right, so the Old Testament we have now is not corrupted. Alright, you accept that? Yeah. Most Muslims here, 99% not accept that. No, but if you talk to 99% Muslims here, you are the most honest Muslim here. 99% would not say that. They would all say, the Bible's been corrupted. When God gave his word, right, he gave the Injil and Torah, yeah? Right. Did the Injil get corrupted? No, the Injil is reference to New Testament. So if God gave the Injil, which is the New Testament, yeah? If God gave it, how can God be defeated? But, but God gave the Injil. God gave the Injil. Right. If God gave the Injil, it cannot be defeated if it came by God. In the Injil is the New Testament, where we have four Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. The Greek for Injil means good news. The Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, are called the Gospel of Matthew, the Gospel of Mark, and it means good news. So Injil means good news. In Arabic, it means good news. If you trace the whole uh, word, the, uh, the Greek, the Hebrew, and the Arabic word of Injil, it's good news. Why is the word of Matthew? Why is God's word? Why is God's word? I'll tell you why. Because if you read Genesis chapter 1, it says, in the beginning, God created. If you read John chapter 1, it says, in the beginning was the word. It's exactly as the Old Testament. Right? So it's, it's exactly in the same style. So when you read it, it testifies to the... It is the narration. But no, 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 because we believe in the Holy Spirit and that God inspired the writers. So they wrote, but the Spirit of God guided them. Well, this is... No, the, the, the word of the, the, the God's Spirit guided men to write. So the Spirit gave the words to men. I'm not a Muslim, I'm a Christian, and in my Bible. Christians believe that? In my Bible, in my Bible. I thought Christians believe that.
Yeah, no, Jesus came down from heaven. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, we, as Christians, we, the Bible teaches. It says this in uh, uh, two Corinth, uh, two Timothy, I think three sixteen, isn't it? It says, uh, all Scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable uh, for doctrine and rebuke. The Greek word for inspiration is God breathed. So Scripture is God breathed. So when the writers wrote, it was God breathed. God breathed into them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm saying, but it is from a Christian position. You're a lovely person. You know, you're, you're very, one of the nicest Muslims I've ever met. So, God bless you. So Jesus Christ shed his blood. He gave his life for you on that cross. So come home to him today. Come home to him. May you turn to him today. Trust him today. There's a story. There was a soldier. Japanese soldiers. These Argyle Scottish soldiers were captured in the Second World War. I just finish this morning and then you can ask a question. These soldiers were captured by the Japanese. The Japanese in the concentration camp said to the Argyle soldiers, We will kill you all unless you admit who stole the spade. A spade had been stolen, they said. If you don't tell us, we'll kill all of you men. So the sergeant of the Argyle soldiers stepped forward and said, I stole it. So the Japanese soldiers got their bayonets and they killed him. Two minutes later, they found the spade. He had not stolen. That soldier, that sergeant had not stolen the spade. It was just lost. What he did is he said he stole it to save his mates. He laid down his life so his mates would not get killed. Jesus laid down his life for you so that you wouldn't go to hell. He died on that cross as your savior so that you wouldn't go to hell. And if you trust him today, you'll be saved. You'll know his love in your life. You'll know a peace in your life and a joy in your life and a grace in your life. Faith in Jesus. I got faith these ladders hold me. Have faith in him and know he'll hold you and you'll be forgiven and know peace in your life. God bless you. Where is the boy? Where is the boy? Where is the boy? Where is the boy?